At the site with power plant, this obviously in various problem with communication, communication interface with NS485. Uh, we didn't get any adapter that gets here, so we have to improvise with this solution. And we are here to build in adequate adapter. So let's get to work. And this is the final solution. This is the adapter for RS-485 as it should be without any wires sticking out or any uh, naked conductors. This is how it should like. We had a serious problems with communications with this inverter, but this should hold on and make a good, good communication socket. One little detail. Uh, if you don't have a sunlight and your inverter is not uh, uh, is not under the under the voltage DC voltage, you cannot check his communication availability because your uh, communication device, your gateway, isn't going to give you any response if you if your inverter is not turned on. This inverter right now is not turned on because at this side. He doesn't have any voltage, any current, so basically he doesn't provide any AC current or voltage, so the communication is basically not working. If you check it, you will see that he's disconnected or unavailable. So wait for the sunlight, then check if you've done this thing here good.